And with the rain comes an old problem in the South Bay, contaminated runoff from the Tijuana River. It's been happening for years, but CBS 8's Regina Yarita talked to Imperial Beach's new mayor tonight, and she says progress is being made. This yellow sign has been out here warning beachgoers to stay out of the water here in Imperial Beach because of the contamination that's coming from the Tijuana River. Now this issue has been going on for decades, but now that federal legislators have unlocked funding, there may be progress in the near future. What's a beach city if not to enjoy the shores? Well, for Imperial Beach, these keep out signs have continued to disappoint swimmers hoping to get in the water. I often walk to the Tijuana River and whatnot, and. Uh, it uh, some days we can't get down there because the smell is so bad. And that's because during every rainstorm, Imperial Beach and sometimes even Coronado get plagued by contaminants stemming from the Tijuana River urban runoff. That runoff has been known to make people sick. Here you can see the runoff from today. You have solid waste, plastics, trash, waste tires, animal waste, you name it. In the past year, constant beach closures have only hurt businesses and discouraged tourists. The county's new DNA testing has also shown high levels of bacteria even when Tijuana rivers are dry. And still the challenge remains on how to stop the flow of sewage from Tijuana. But a new allocation of 300 million federal funds could finally aim to have shovels in the ground within the next two years. A project that includes rerouting wastewater, fixing sewage pipes and replacing the sewage treatment plant in Tijuana. So what we can expect is that it goes to our uh, request for proposals, for contractors, the, the, the contracts allocated um, and then eventually we just get shovels in the ground. Still, this week's heavy rain has continued to push another trail of contaminants from the south to the north. A lot of that rain is just runoff, right? So you have a lot more flooding, um, a lot more slippery roads. It's, 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 it's chaotic. So um, it's concerning, of course. Another water contact warning remains in effect from Imperial Beach to La Jolla. Normally when it rains, we are asked to stay out of the water for 72 hours in the southern part of Imperial Beach. That has been closed for over a year, which is why leaders have been pushing for a solution to solve these issues. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.